Hello, it's Tuesday today and today is the day I'm getting very focals and I'm leaving in about 10 or 15 minutes as well, so pretty excited. When I did my video about getting very focals the other week, I had loads and loads of comments from you lot and people loved them or hated them in their experience with very focals basically. And I also learned that they're called progressive lenses in America not very focals. So it was interesting. Yeah, people that hated them, really hated them. They had migraines, they had like vertigo and all sorts of horribleness. <laughs> and people that loved them, really, really loved them and swore by them. And we had some interesting comments about trying to use contact lenses and failing as well. And even I be chipped in through me. He sent me a comment to paste back to Lozzy's Leisure. Lozzy's Leisure's got a channel, do check him out. He's a travel vlogger obviously been in the UK mostly but he's doing some Portugal vlogs at the moment they're lovely um anyway yeah he failed with the contact lenses didn't you Lars yes if you're watching <laughs> um yeah so I have no idea how I'm gonna get on but it set me wondering why do people get on or not get on is there something different and it got me thinking about Izzy's dyslexia assessment recently because that looked into the way vision is processed so I have no idea if I'm completely barking up the wrong tree but I just wondered if being dyslexic might give you an advantage or disadvantage with very focals I wonder if it's ever been looked into because I know in the assessment like is yet to have she had to look at something like a grid of diamonds and was asked if they looked three-dimensional to her and like to me yeah they definitely would like it looks like they're sticking out from the page and you can see the sides and the back you know the tops and it looks like 3d objects come into life for apparently if you're not dyslexic it doesn't it just looks like a grid of diamonds I just thought it looked 3d to everybody I haven't worked out if this is a ridiculous theory or not but we'll find out. I'm gonna see now, I'm kind of scared, but there's like a 30 day money back guarantee on them. So if I really, really can't get on with them after 30 days, I will take them back. But somebody said in the comments that they failed abysmally with very focals, just couldn't get on with them, but they then switched to bifocals and got on really well with them. So I'm really glad of that comment and that's gonna be my plan B. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I was obsessing over my news app, trying to figure out if there was an update from the Welsh Government about restrictions, just in case I needed to change my plans for this week. Well, the only change is they are putting sports games behind closed doors. So I presume they'll be televised, but no live audience. So I don't think I'm changing my plans for this week. Uh, so tonight I'm gonna be rehearsing, but my boyfriend is actually gonna collect me and take me back to his house for that because I was a bit worried about being on packed trains just at the moment, so he's very kindly gonna do that. Um, and then I'm gonna work tomorrow and then be back the following evening then to be back with Izzy again. I started my Frosty and Friends puzzle last night, my Christmas puzzle, but I didn't get very far with it. It took me all that time to just do the edge. I find the edge bit really boring, you know. Not so much doing the edge, that's okay, it's sorting it out. I'm half tempted when I put this away to just put the edge in a separate bag for the next person because really, what reward do we have for just sorting the edges? It's just tedious. But that's gonna be on hold tonight, isn't it? Because I'm gonna be away tonight. I'm going to have a quick swig of squash because I am really thirsty. Then I'm going to head off to the opticians and I'll see you when I get back. It's all going very, very well so far. Oh, yeah. I like them so far, but I haven't tried walking around in them yet. It's been an instant love so far. This could all change once I get moving around. Might have got tempted to pop in bricks for some mince pies, if they have any. Oh, they do. Excellent. Bye there. I'm already back because they were slipping down my nose. So I thought, let's just get them sorted out straight away. I am back and I am loving the new glasses. Oh my goodness. I am so loving them. I can see the monitor screen in focus with them on. And I'm not having the whole, it's out of focus and I can't tell because it just looks out of focus anyway issue. Brilliant. Oh, and I bought mince pies, a lot of mince pies. Mince pie for me to have at home, mince pies for us to have in the rehearsal and mince pies to possibly have during our office working day tomorrow because I'm sure they won't be stale by then. And here they are. They do look a little bit different from my older ones. Prefer the look of my older ones, but 
It's more important to me that I can see properly and not be swapping glasses. I am obviously in the duct water category, no problems at all. I mean, yeah, there's some little funny warpy bits, like but very, very minimal, and I, I just move my head and then I can, like if something's out of focus, I just move my head and then I can focus on it. <laughs> so it's brilliant, I love it. I'll report back after a while though, because you never know, I might find now, because I'm gonna go and be working at my computer now, now I might find that problems arise when I'm sitting in front of my screen because I need to get the vlog up for tonight. So yeah, I'll let you know how I got on after that. That mince pie was nice, just following it up with a cup of tea. I'm sidetracked. I haven't done the vlog thing yet, but I wanted to tell you that Izzy didn't have any side effects from her new medication yesterday and feels absolutely fine today. She thinks she's got a tiny rash at the site of the injections. I haven't had a look yet. I've asked her to show me uh, a bit later before she goes out today. Oh, and one more thing. I think these glasses are slightly wonky, like, I think they're going up a bit too much on that side. So I think I will need to get them adjusted again, but I'm not so worried about the adjustments for aesthetics. Whereas when they were literally slipping off my nose, I had to get them adjusted straight away, but I'm gonna get on with my stuff now. And even if I do it after Christmas, it'll get done eventually, won't it? I am back. Oh, I can't get used to the look of myself in these new frames. I prefer the look of the old ones. I would have bought them again if it had been an option, but it didn't seem to be. Anyway, got on fine with the lenses themselves whilst working with the computer screens, so pleased about that. Every so often I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. But other than that, it's absolutely fine. Now, I am feeling actually a bit emotional, which is not like me. I'm not an emotional person. I'm like a robot usually. Well, a happy robot it's permanently turned onto happy. Um, but anyway, I am heartily relieved because you may remember a few vlogs ago, I mentioned that I follow a YouTube channel called Eight Miles From Home that are based on the Shargao Island of the Philippines, which recently had a horrific typhoon and the whole island has been decimated basically but they are alive it's been released on social media today they are alive and well but it's they were sort of showing around on the video with some of the destruction there's no water there's no utilities whatsoever no communication nothing they um a friend of theirs videoed them and then evacuated elsewhere and then put the video on the internet on their Facebook page, that's why I know, so. Yeah, I've literally been dreaming about them at night. <laughs> a much bigger channel than me. But you know, you get attached to your vloggers, that's the thing. So I'm so glad that they're okay, I don't know what they're gonna do. Everything's ruined, everything. Right, now, next step for me now, I'm gonna go, I won't film it, but I'm gonna go and work on technical exercises for an hour in my cellar on my flute. I am back out of the cellar, did an hour more or less. I've decided I need to flow before I go, as the government slogan goes. These are still the um, throat and nose ones. Now they make just nose ones now. Oh, I wouldn't have liked some of those because I gag something terrible every time. I nearly brought my breakfast up the last two times I did this. Got something funny going on here. Ah, there are some of that. Right, these things are a bit mixed up. <laughs> it's there, that's what I was looking for. The juicy thingy, you know. We've got multiple boxes, you see, and uh, I think uh, they maybe got mixed up a bit. There we are, it's heading on up the strip. I'm gonna get some lunch now, which is gonna be very easy, actually, because I am just heating up leftovers from yesterday, which is this pasta. Looks all right, doesn't it? I'm packing up flute, laptop, essential electronics, camera bag. I've got a food bag. And also my amplification gear in there, just in case. I figured I'd leave that with my boyfriends, just in case I have to get the train back to do the gig. Now, speaking of trains, there was a news update. Because of Omicron, they've decided to reduce the number of trains running. <laughs> Due to staff shortages, apparently, they say if they do that, they just aim to run less, there'll be less cancellations. So we've got that to look forward to. It's about 20 to five now, and he's due at five. <sighs> I'm all packed with seven minutes to spare. So I'm just gonna sit here, read news articles on my phone and bask in the loveliness of the Christmas tree, but I will have to switch them off in a minute when he comes. Coming past Trago Mills we are. I'm so enjoying these very focals. I find it helps to hold your breath first. I can focus both on the monitor and my boyfriend shoving a lateral flow test up his nostril whilst scrunching his face up like that. Oh, that was a different hole, this one. Has it? I didn't know you had any more holes up well, there. Well, not that I, but it just seems to stop prematurely. Ooh, let's hope it's negative after all this. This is the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Isabel have both done them today. 
I do hope so, otherwise we'll be, uh, be kicking well, her out. Yeah, don't know what we'll do. It'll be very inconvenient, won't it? It definitely will. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're at IBS, as you can probably tell, and I'm just loving the very focals. Oh, I had a heavenly time chopping my vegetables up, didn't I? Because I could see them and everything else. It was wonderful. And I didn't cut my things off or anything like that because of warped perspective. Oh no. Did you say you had a heavenly time? Cutting, heavenly. Cutting vegetables. You do not know how disabling it has been living with just long distance Mono glasses. Vocals. At the monophone call. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, he's doing the drips now. This is what we're having for dinner. Chippies in the active fry. Which are going around. They were stirring themselves. Oh, I'll give them some attention in a minute. I'm boiling some veg because I'm the mother and I insist that we eat something healthy. <laughs> and also there's pizza in the oven. I'm back at the table. IB's drawing in Christmas cards for his family oh, members. Looks like me. He's trying to find a picture of a naughty Santa Claus. Look <laughs> at that one. <laughs> Blimey. Ooh. <laughs> Shall I show the people? Hang on. Santa's got a bottle of Voddy because he's had a long day in the department store with naughty children climbing all over him, <laughs> pulling his beard. Good news, it doesn't appear to be infected. Dinner time. Look, he's arranged it in categories. Olives, sprouts, green beans, broccoli. There's chips under there. Well, you wouldn't want it to stuff a pile of mess, do you? Well, I just chuck mine all on top of each other, to be honest. They're all cooked in the same pan. Apart from the olives, obviously. It's 20 to 8 in the evening now. IB's downstairs. He's been practicing on his own for the Christmas gig. I've been editing everything that I've done up until now on the vlog, so hopefully get it up in time for tomorrow evening because I'm working in the office tomorrow, you see. Not early, not starting till 11, but it might make it a little difficult to get the vlog finished and out, but I think I can do it. I think so. So Dan is coming in 20 minutes. <laughs> We're running through Christmas carols, aren't we, boys? Yes. Oh, yes, so very standard on, ones. Just running through them to make sure we can do them because they're very easy. Right, just running through them to make sure we can do them. You're a poet and didn't know. Oh, I am, yes. My special glasses. I've got a version here. What, what's it in? This is. D minor at the beginning, if you want to put well, it down. How have you got D minor? Where's that then? I'm sure it's not English Carol, it says it's got me. Yeah, so have a look at what you've got and I'll make sure okay, I it's not the same. If it came in my jazz Facebook. Be sharp on the top, isn't it? You see 7 flat 9 a different diminished. Is that C7? It's going to be. It's going to be there, isn't it? It's going to be E diminished. Just been having a little bit of trouble with I wish it could be Christmas every day. We couldn't decide on a comfortable key for could the vocals, could we? Sorry. No. In a decent key every day. <laughs> no, forget about those. Scrub all that out. I was watching our vlog from two years ago when we were practicing for the Christmas gig and IB was being a diva and he kept changing the key on us all the time. Well, he's doing it again, isn't he, Dan? <laughs> right, so here's to it, you, it's a C minor. Uh, here's to you, to B flat down, I'm just going to wait till they've sorted it all out and then I'm just going to jam along on the flute. Oh, sorry. Do they know it's Christmas I know that bit. It's just coming up to half past 11 at night and we have just packed up. We didn't actually have a break, but we're gonna have our mince pies now. Would you like a mince pie, Dan? I can't understand how these boxes work. They seem to be upside down. Yeah, have a mince pie. Thank you, it's gonna, the box is gonna collapse. No, that's all right, I got it. They look like they've been stabbed with a fork, don't they? Viciously, especially that one. That's like, been murdered. <laughs> Heading up the wooden hill, not to bed just yet though. 
IB's radiator in his bedroom is broken. <laughs> so I'm going to put the heater on ready for when we do go to bed, but we're gonna have a cup of tea first. But if you've enjoyed this video, could you please give it a like? It helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that. If you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.